All right, so a quick and easy way I find to get better at Apex Legends is just to do more warm-ups. But if you want to do more warm-ups, I'm just going to give you my tips on how to get how to get a little better, I guess, or what you want to do. Uh, for the shotguns, you want to use these targets to do warm-ups on. And for the ranged weapons, you want to use those targets to do warm-ups on. So for the shotguns, you want to fire, reposition the crosshair, fire again. Fire. And in between shots, you, um, or between recall, you want to re, um, reset. Let's see, quick tips for these. Michael. Uh, let's see. Peacekeeper between real the, the peacekeeper between reloads, you want to that's when you reset. Or line up your front to the like to the middle body. Uh, Eva 8. It is full auto. But what I find it's better to spam it. And it's better to be like within melee distance. So shoot. For the massive animals in beak. I mean, if you want to use a Mozambique, we all know how the weapon is. But just a quick general tip: the Mastiff and the Mozambique are the only two shotguns whose recoil, whose shotgun spread tightens as you sh um, aim down. Um, the Peacekeeper and the EV-8, they don't, right? so there's almost no benefit to aiming downside. For the light weapons, let's see. Light weapons. Now again, for all the guns, you want to fire off all of them, just to get a feel for them. That's what I meant to say. For the range weapons, at least the full auto ones. You want to aim for the diamond and this black line. Wait, no, I said that over. I said that wrong. For the low recoil weapons, you want to aim just for the diamond. Pretend that's the chest. And this black line is for the higher recoil weapons. You want to aim for their hips. And you want to stay as close as possible to that white line. So. Low recoil guns, just aim for the diamond. Just pull down on your thumbstick. And see how close you can do it. Fire it three times. The for the R R99. Like I said, pretend that black line is the hips. And that diamond is the torso. And you want to stay as close as possible to that white line. That's all you do. Again, all you're doing is you're getting a feel for the weapons. That's why I recommend. Sorry. I recommend you fire off all the guns just to get a feel for them, but do what you wish. Alright, so for this one's the hard ones over here. Alright. Peacekeeper. And you. Growler. Alright, so the Peacekeeper, again, and the Light Diamond. And the Peacekeeper, and the Light Peacekeeper with the Wingman. You want to take some time with these shots and line them up. 
and with Prowler. Uh, Prowler, I would like to say, it has high recoil, but it just depends how much you spam it. But if you want to like um, spam it, I would aim. Generally speaking, just aim for the hips. Then spam it. I personally hate sniping this game, but again, you're firing the weapon. To get a, you're firing the weapon to get a feel for it. Not necessary if you'll ever pick it up. And these two are the worst ones in the entire game, in my opinion. They're not worse in terms of like they suck or they do low damage. They do. They suck because they have the worst recall, in my opinion. Alright, so for the Havoc, no exceptions. Aim for the hips, or that white line, or that black line. And once you get used to that, um... I'd recommend looking for the turbocharger for this one because it's pretty disgusting. It's it has high it has almost no recoil and a sped up time to kill. A sped up fire rate. It's amazing. Um, devotion. Devotion's a weird one because it has side to side recoil also. But there we go. No, like again. Um, aim for the hips, and just try to, to keep it in the diamond. Just do this whenever you play, and you'll get better in like a week or two. A week or so, so have fun.